Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Let's try and work on the pants here now. We've got the uh, shirt and the vest and the helmet UV mapped. Let's keep going with the pants here. And for this, once again, I think I'll just select edges that um, real pants would have seams at. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to select the um, edges here on the outside on either side and then the edge along the inseam here and once I've got that I'm gonna press control E and mark seam and let's go over to the UV editing layout and see what we've got here so I've got the seams marked I'm gonna select everything press U and unwrap and now I need to switch over to my UV image editor first here and this is what I have. Um, is that going to be okay? The legs kind of splay out a little bit here. Let's go back to my node editor and let's select that checker material here. And let's take a look at it. Well, the checker pattern is kind of angling out, but um, that may not be bad. Let's. Uh, Let's see how that works. All right, so moving on, let's take a look at what else we can UV map here. How about one of these boots? Let's try this. So let's see which object we want to do first. How about uh, this be someone to press Shift H to isolate this. And uh, once again, this is just a piece, a one-sided piece. So let's just try and unwrap it. You unwrap boom good move on <laughs> I'm gonna press alt H to bring the others back let's work on say this piece and I'm gonna press shift H to isolate it now this too is um, a piece without thickness um, I've left some of the uh, thickness here on the edges um, but let's see how this works with just unwrapping. Hmm, doesn't really look too good. But let's keep going and see what it looks like when it's all done here. I'm just going to select this back heel piece and press U and unwrap. Um, how about the tongue? Let's do that as well. So U unwrap. What else do we need? Oh, how about the sole of the shoe? Let's do that. Now, this piece has thickness all the way through. Um, so, what let's do is let's mark a seam for this. Perhaps we should um, mark seams here. Let's try this. I'm just holding Alt and Shift and selecting edges. So that should split the very bottom off from the top here. And control E and mark seam. And if we select everything and hit unwrap, there we go. Let's try that. I'm going to press Alt H to bring everything back. Now we've also got these little tiny pieces here. We could go ahead and try these. I'm just hovering over these and pressing the L key to select these pieces. And let's just try U and unwrap. And there we go. Now, what I'm going to do here, this is kind of a mess, isn't it? And I've been, um, so far, I've been just UV mapping and not worrying about what overlaps with what planning on doing some organizing um, at the end but for this boot let's just go ahead and organize these uv shells uv islands right now so with this whole boot selected this whole object selected what i'm going to do is i've got some tools here one is control a for average island scale and the other one is pack island for or control p so what i'm going to do is with 
all the UV shells or UV islands selected, I'm going to press Control A, and that will basically average their size based on the size of the pieces in the 3D view. And then I'm going to press Control P, and that packs them all into the 0 to 1 space um, of the UV image editor. So there we go. We've got um, the shoe. Now let's go ahead and assign this um, a material. I'm going to go to the node editor and assign a checker material to it. And let's see how we did. How ugly is it? Not too bad. There's some stretching going on, especially up in here. Um, I may want to revisit that, but honestly, it may not matter a whole lot. Still, it's kind of bothering me. All right, well, let's keep going, and we may address that issue um, at a later time. What should we work on now? Let's work on the head here. Why don't we do that? I'm going to select the head and isolate it. And let's um, think about how we want to do this. For the head, I think what I want to do is um, insert or select an edge along the back of the um, character. And it's going all the way down the front of the head, and I don't want that. So I've hit Z to go to wireframe view, and now I'm going to press Z, uh, the C key for circle select. And if I middle mouse button, click and drag, I can deselect edges along here. So now I am going to make a little T shape with the edges here near the top of the forehead. So I've got an edge along the back and a T shape up at the top of the forehead. So I'm going to press Control E, mark seam. And now I also need to split out the mouth from the rest of the head. So I'm going to press Control up arrow to go to full screen here. And let's see if we can figure out where that edge needs to be to break it off from the rest of the head. Um, I would say probably this edge or let's maybe this edge here. Let's break it off at that edge. So I'm going to mark a seam there. And then I want to split up the inside of the mouth so that it splays out flat in, uh, its, in the UV image editor. So to do that, I'm going to need to select um, an edge along here. That's good. Once again, I'm going to hit the C key, middle mouse button, click and drag, and that will deselect for me. All right, so I have that seam there at the bottom of the mouth. Now I'm going to Control E, mark seam. And then one last one to split the tongue out from the rest of the mouth. Control E and mark seam. Okay, so now we've got, that's how it looks on the inside of the mouth. I've got a ring here to split it out from the rest of the head, a ring here to split the tongue off, and then a seam at the bottom to um, splay it out or lay it out flat. All right, so let's give this a try. I'm going to select just this head. If I hit the A key to select everything, I'll select this piece of hair and the eyebrows. And I don't want that right now. I'm just going to hover over the head and press the L key. So I just select the head. And then press U and unwrap. And there we go. So what this is, is the head, the inside of the mouth, and the tongue. I'm going to go to the node editor assign a checker pattern to this, and there he is. All right, so now let's just do the, um, the hair and the eyebrows. So I'm just going to select that. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and mark a seam here at the back to split this out. So I'll mark the seam, select it all, hit U and unwrap. There's one eyebrow. 
Let's see if we can isolate that with Shift H. And I will just mark a seam in here. Okay, now that I've got everything UV mapped, let's go ahead and select everything for this object and do the same thing that we did before with Control, Control A and Control P. Let's try that. And let's keep moving forward. Um, let's go ahead and do one of the arms here. What I'd like to do is have the seam for this be split down the bottom of the arm and then the back of the hand. And I don't want to seam at the thumb since that is the front of the character. So what I'm going to do is mark seams down here. Then I'm going to turn that seam and move it so it goes along the pinky here. And I've just hit Alt shift and select as I'm going around here. I think I want this to come just to right here. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to press control E, mark seam, select everything, and then press U and unwrap. Well, there you go. That's not too bad. Let's just check it out in, with the checker material here. Not too bad. We've got a little stretching on the fingers, but you know what? I'm going to go with it for right now. So you can see I've got a seam here at the bottom and the seam here along the back of the hand, but not up at the front. Okay, we've made some good progress here so far. Uh, what we'll do in the next video is I think we'll go ahead and just finish him up. We'll UV map the eyes and the belt and we'll talk about mirroring over things like the boot and the arm so we don't have to re-UV map these pieces. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.